so many epic shots of him walking. This is a rebel that surrendered to us. Although he denies it, I believe wow. there may be more of he them. And I request to permission to conduct a further search of the area. Good work, Commander. Leave us. Conduct your search and bring his companions to me. He's like being nice to that guy in front of his son. The Emperor has been expecting you. I'm not here for the I Emperor. Know, Father. <gasps> so, you have accepted the truth. I've accepted the truth that you were once Anakin Skywalker, my father. That name no longer has any meaning for me. Oh. It is the name of your true self you've only forgotten. Mm. I know there is good in you. <gasps> the Emperor so has crazy. driven it from you fully. I believe that. I just think it's too late. That's why you won't bring me to your Emperor now. Why is it green? I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Yes. Yeah, why is it green? Your skills are complete. Oh. Why is it green? Is it ever going to tell me? Why is it green? Why is it green? Oh. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. I will not turn, and you'll be forced to kill me. If that is your destiny. Search your feelings, Father. Search your feelings, you Father. I feel the conflict within you. Let go of your hate. It is too late for me, son. I knew it. The Emperor will show you the true nature of But what course. happened to taking him down together? Is he hoping that he'll kill the Emperor? Then my father is truly dead. What happened to his plans? Like, he wanted them to kill the Emperor together, take down the Emperor. Oh my god. Guys, let's all get it tattooed on our bodies. Search your feelings, father. I love it. I love it. I love it. And he's saying that to his dad. Something I'm afraid I'll forget this. Something I really appreciate about these movies is the connection between father and son, because you hear about that with a mother, at least in Western society. You hear a mom knows everything. A mom knows when her kid is like in, is in pain or can it's a mother's instinct. But this is like what's traditionally feminine, but it's for a father and a son. And it's actually so beautiful. Like I was not brought up that way where there was any really capacity for my father to love. Say what you will about Darth Vader, but what Anakin did to protect his babies, I think was very selfless. Selfishly, I would want to stay with my babies. I would want to stay with my partner, you know, I don't know if it was his wife or what, but it seemed like his wife went to, I don't know, I guess she gave one baby to the Republic and then one baby to aunt and uncle. But I don't think that they're real. But their relationship is so interesting because he is actually so mature as well. Search. That's why I love search your feelings, father, because he listen. He's he's listening to his son too. Like he's trying to get him to understand. He's trying to get Luke is trying to get him to understand. It's like actually kind of interestingly healthy, somewhat adult relationship and just how they're communicating between father and son. Um, I just love it. I think it's exploring a lot of stuff, and it's not tra your traditional. You know, I am your father. Listen to what I say. Like he's. I don't. I'll talk about it more later. I love it. I'm afraid our furry companion has gone and done something rather rash. That used to be their only furry companion. <laughs> there goes our surprise attack. I want to see a baby Wookiee. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? It's beautiful. Where do the Chewbacca's live? <laughs> Not bad for a little fur ball. There's only one left. <laughs> You're just getting lucky, dude. I have decided that we shall stay here. <laughs> I have decided. He was like, I'm not going to impersonate a deity. And now he's just like, I have decided. <laughs> he accepted the role too eagerly. <laughs> But maybe they're on to something. Because, like, I would let C-3PO be a god for me. I think he can make pretty good decisions. There we go. <laughs> Most chaotic stealth mission. <laughs> 
Oh my god, so funny. He's so messy. I love it. Him and Chewie. Now when everyone's like, you aren't stealthing in this game, you're supposed to stealth. I'm gonna be like, I'm just Han Solo. I'm just Han. When I see stealth, I wanna run. It's me. Han Solo. Yes. And I think also when he said, you don't understand the power of the dark side, it's more like you don't know what we could do with the dark side. Like there's more potential to change things, maybe. I don't see how it's inherently evil. That's my question. How is it inherently evil? Welcome, young Skywalker. I have been expecting you. Hey. 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 How y'all doing? What if the two of them act together? What if there was subtext going on in the conversation? Like they knew they were being watched. In time, you will call me master. You're gravely mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. I'm dying at him. You can just see him going. <laughs> it is you who are mistaken about a great many things. Hey, is that a human who's just decomposed? His lightsaber. Ah, uh, yes. A Jedi's weapon. Why is it green? Much like your father's. Oh. By now you must know your father can never be turned from the dark side. So will it be with What do you have on him? Maybe he has his heart or something. Or his soul. Perhaps you refer to the imminent attack of your rebel fleet. Did yeah. you get some veneers? We are quite safe from your friends here. Your overconfidence is your weakness. <laughs> His face. <laughs> I love it. E. Oh, I'm afraid of Lecter She will be quite operational when your friends arrive. Oh my God. Who is Anakin's dad? Who are his parents? I hope we find out in the prequels. Uh, stay with me. R2 just farted. <laughs> <laughs> you rebel scum. Rebel scum. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Red leader standing by. Gray leader standing by. Green leader standing by. Nice. Pink leader standing by. I mean, orange leader. Eh, pink. Let's be pink. We've got to be able to get some kind of a reading on that shield up or down. Well, how could they be jamming us if they don't know... <laughs> I love how Lando is like, he really does have such a diverse community and he also is multilingual and say what you will about the scoundrels, but they know other languages. They know how to respect and talk to different species and races. With each passing moment, you make yourself more my servant. Anakin is so quiet. You, like your father, are now mine. Ew. So gross. Oh, there's just so few of them. It's so sad. It's not fair. Hello, I say over there. Were you looking for me? No, no. <laughs> no. Sure it was our two's idea. Don't move. Oh, what about all we the surrender. things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I don't think that the emperor planned for this. Them winning over this tribe. And what's cute, you know, I've talked to Caleb a bit about like the the empire being kind of colonizers and you know they're based on nazis and stuff and this tribe seems to represent you know an indigenous civilization and the revolution the resistance actually got along quite well with the tribe so i just think that's pretty meaningful i love all these scenes with on this planet on this moon i mean the forest moon oh shit you have so many weapons, so many in your army. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. And you can't beat these little guys. 
Idiots. Yeah! <laughs> Taking flight. That's <laughs> so smart. And kind of similar to what Luke did in the second movie. How can you use force with guns? That's like boomy. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, you did not predict this, did you, Mr. Emperor? What's his name? Do we know his name yet? Master. Poopy head. Yes. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm glad they kept these like fighter jet shots. I love them. Pressure steady. I hope he doesn't die. Your friends have failed. Now witness the firepower. Really? Of this fully. And I don't think he's a fighter. He doesn't seem that strong. He seems like an old fart who uses his powers on like mental persuasion and stuff. Oh, that's green. Uh, oh. Blast him the Death Star. Uh, oh, wait. <sighs> and we'll have that shield down. We've got to give him more time. Oh. Their friendship is so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> Oh, poor Ardu. No! Oh, why did you have to be so brave? I know. Oh. I suppose I got hardware this thing. I'll cover you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good thinking. No. That's sad. No! No! No. They don't like watching them die. It's really devastating. I'm here! This feels pretty hopeless because I can't think of how they're going to get out of this. Your fleet is lost, and your friends on the indoor moon will not survive. So you try to kill everyone around you. You killed everyone around him, didn't you? And left him hopeless. Good. I can feel your anger. Horrible. Strike me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. And then what? Does he come back to life? I don't understand. Why does he want to die? <laughs> Darth Vader stopped him. Oh! <laughs> In you go, Chewy. No. <laughs> You're getting along well with them. He's like stroking his hair. <laughs> I love their fighting methods. Amazing. Got it. Yes. I... Ah. Oh no. Oh, Ouch, right? that looks like it hurt. It's not bad. Hey. Oh dear. Oh no. I love you. I know. Hands up. Because <laughs> remember, she said I love you, and he said I know, and then he just said I love you, and she said I know, and he loves her because she put the gun out, and then she loves his violent wife. <laughs> I hope they get married. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> oh, that scared me. What's happening? Christmas! <laughs> oh. But why? Why did he stop him from striking him? Like, Obi-Wan has taught you well. Missing something. He's missing something. So did Obi-Wan? It seems like Obi-Wan taught Luke better than he taught Anakin. God, he loves it. You're disgusting, dude. 
you underestimate the good in you, I think, Anakin. And that flip that Luke did, succeeding that flip, really resembled the flip that Anakin missed and fell. And I know, he, I think he's disfigured. I think he's disabled. But still, I wonder if Obi-Wan did a better job training Luke because it was more hands-off. But I also I think the missing piece is whoever the woman was, whoever his mom was, because Luke doesn't love a, a person like that, a woman, a, whoever. He loves his friends for sure. Anakin had children and he evidently had the kid's mother that he loved. Give yourself to the dark side. It is the only way you can save your friends. Did he save Obi-Wan or something? Or your feelings for them are strong, especially for your sister. Sister, you have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. You didn't know? <gasps> he didn't know. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. <laughs> Was it Obi-Wan or was it the mom? Music. Oh, that's too vicious. That's too vicious. Oh, you did what your dad did to you. You did what your dad did to you. Good. Oh, fuck off, dude. Please just kill him. Please. The heat has made you powerful. <sighs> Take your father's place at my no. side. No. Yeah, that's what happened to you. Breath. Never. Aww. You failed, your highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. I'm scared. I don't want to cry. That's too damn bad! Oh my god. Come back and tackle the Death Star's big man. Yes! Oh, no way. Told you they'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's great that he talks so slow. Oh, I think the thing is Luke would rather die than turn into a Darth Vader. Oh my God, what is that? Is that the dark side magic? So he's he's a sorcerer. He doesn't even need a lightsaber. Oh my God. You know, it's like lightning because when you think of... Father, how can you deny your baby? Anakin, wake up! Wake up, Panikin! Don't turn away! No! No! Wake up! No! no. <laughs> oh! Okay, wait, I missed that that's electric. So his hand was taken from him. Wait, what? Oh, unmask him, unmask him. Oh, I don't understand. So how much of him is like electric? Like what happened? Cause it was like, so the emperor cut off parts of him. Oh my God, that's so, so cool. They're really in the Death Star. We've lost our bridge deflector shield. Intensify the forward batteries. I don't want that. Your emperor to get is dead, I'm pretty sure. He exploded. <laughs> they do such good work with the puppets. Like you can see them, their expressions. Same with Darth Vader. Like, oh, he's carrying him. He's carrying his dad. Where are you gonna take him? Help me take this mask off. But you'll die. 
Nothing can stop that now. Just for once, let me look on you with my own eyes. Go, my son. Leave me? No, you're coming with me. I'll not leave you here. I've got to save you. You already have. Look, you were right. <laughs> you were right about me. <laughs> Tell your sister. <laughs> isn't waiting by the door to give me a fucking hug and if he knew i was gonna watch this <laughs> that was too much that was not fair <laughs> that was too much Ugh. oh my god no God, thank God. That's too much, man. It's too much. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be so dehydrated. I'm sure Luke wasn't on that thing when it blew. He wasn't. You feel him. I can feel it. <laughs> His little himbo brain does You love him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. I understand. Fine. You fucking idiot! <laughs> when he comes back, I'm gonna fight I him. Won't get in the way. <laughs> you himbo! <laughs> He's such a himbo! It's not like that at all. He's <laughs> my brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we needed that comedy moment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you kissed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is anyone going to point that out? That they kissed? I know it was like a showy thing to make him jealous, but still. Yeah, that's your son. That's your child. That's legally your child. I can't. I don't make the rules, but I am representing. All right. All right. <laughs> that's your child now. <laughs> You're its parents. All right. For... <laughs> no, please. I don't like it. <sighs> I don't want to watch the prequels. <laughs> I don't want to watch the prequels. I've never seen a movie like this. I've never seen a parent be able to say something like that. You were right. You know how much that means. There's so many of us kids that want to change our parents for the better, and we can't. And he's just, he is going to have such a strong place in my heart because he was able to pull through in the end. Usually they can't. And he was. Like, he, there's no father like him. They're, like, all partying, and I'm still crying about Darth Vader. <laughs> Party time. You deserve it so much. There's no dictator anymore. You can just live. It's so exciting. <laughs> He's dancing with them. Yeah. Yes. It's pure joy. Happiness. <laughs> I love this song. Oh. Fuck this fucking movie. How rude. 
I need to call Caleb. Hey, Caleb! Caleb! I'm really mad at you for not waiting here for me. You knew I was gonna react like this, probably, right? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you don't even remember? No. He asks Luke to unmask him at the end so that he can look at him with his own eyes. <laughs> and he goes, you were right about me. <laughs> and then it's his, his ghost at the end with Obi-Wan. <laughs> and Yoda and he looks so cute and you just know it's him because it's Hayden Christensen oh. and he looks so cute and like and it was just so like and Luke's face I'm trying to find you know, remember and he's like no I want to save you and he's like you already did. <laughs> he keeps say saying like I feel the good in you I feel it and then it just has this like this little harp melody he's the only one there at his his <laughs> <laughs> so sweet and they're all three together in their little jedi clothing <laughs> you t people told me there wasn't any kind of plot twist or spoilers in this she's this fucking twin yeah he's just like he's number one in my heart because you know how many kids wish they could hear that from their parents that want to you know change their parents help them be better and usually movies will just be like oh well the father couldn't do it so then the kid will do it but he saved everything Darth Vader saved everything Anakin saved everything because Luke was gonna die he was gonna he was being elect you remember the electric the yeah. lightning and he was almost dead he was just like father father and like that's just something that kids have to go through where they're just like please like if there's any like goodness in this parent like please save me and at the last minute he just goes no and he picks him up and he throws him and he like explodes the emperor it was just like the most powerful thing because there's just no father character like darth vader there just isn't there's a whole bunch of like narcissistic abusive parents and then there's a whole bunch of like parents that could do no wrong and he's just like he he will always have a really special place in my heart because he pulled through in the end you you were right you were right about me you already saved me you saved me it's just it was so impactful it's so so precious in his face at the end like that actor just the way that he because he asked like can you please unmask me and luke's like no because you won't be able to breathe like i don't want to do that and he's just like i just want to look upon you with my own eyes he just did such an amazing job his eyes looking at him and being proud of him <laughs> It's just, I've never, ever read or watched, experienced a parent-child relationship like that. And usually kids are just stupid for, you know, believing that their abusive parents could change or be better. And he was just right all along. You could feel it. He was just like, I feel the good in you. I feel that conflict in you. And he was right for it because it basically saved the world. It saved that, like, that was, like, the native bears you remember that yeah. on the moon yeah. they were so cute and it was wow. like you said before that they were being colonized and the empire was such colonizers you know the celebrations at the end but i couldn't get i couldn't get past darth vader um i didn't wow. expect that i thought that he would i just thought they would fight and luke would have to kill him but it wasn't that at all and I was even thinking, you know, he has to die because it's too late for him. It's too late for him. But he ultimately was saved. He was saved Dream. by his son. He didn't even know that he had a daughter. But he didn't know. Obi-Wan hid that from Anakin. I don't understand. I mean, I know they're all pals, but you'll see when you watch, when you edit this, it's so ridiculous the way that Yoda and Obi-Wan act when he confronts them. Yoda just dies. Yoda just straight up dies <laughs> to avoid answering questions. He literally was like, it's unfortunate that you learned that it was your dad this soon. And he was like, I can't answer any more questions. I have to rest. And then he was like, by the way, you have a twin sister. And Luke's like, who? And I'm like, who? And he's like, 
see ya and peace is out. <laughs> Yoda! He dies. And then Obi-Wan's there and he's just like, oh, yeah, well, what I said was technically true in a point of view because if you look at it a certain way, Anakin was killed by Darth Vader, which isn't even true because Anakin was there just very small because he came through for his son and said, I want to look at you one last time. Yoda reminds me of Toph. Like yeah, oh, for parent. sure, because Toph was like a terrible parent. <laughs> but then he also was just like, because Luke was like, I don't want to kill my dad. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to do that. And Obi-Wan was just like, oh, well, I guess you're our only hope, so I guess we're doomed. And this, that was the conversation. And that's why they didn't want him to know, because they wanted him to have that emotion. So, so did they, they want kill. basically the same thing? What's the difference then between them and the Emperor? Because the Emperor also wanted him to have, they wanted too much emotion. So you have like the extremes of the dark side being so emotional and relying on that anger and sadness. And it also means that there's a lot of love there because yeah. that's, I'm sure we didn't even learn how the Emperor cooked Vader, but I assume because he was trying to do it with Luke where he was like, your friends are all gonna die and then you're gonna kill your dad and then you'll be mine, you'll be mine. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel that hatred? That's how he was trying. And then Luke slashes Vader's hand and he sees it's electric already, robotic. And I think he realizes, okay, like I'm just perpetuating the cycle of vi violence and stuff. So I'm not gonna do it and he throws his lightsaber. But like, I don't understand what Obi-Wan and Yoda wanted. Like they, they were like, you shouldn't have any emotions at all. I mean, yeah, when Yoda was training him, he was like, close your off. But do you remember Luke being like, search your feelings, father? Yeah. And what well, Obi, Obi-Wan was like, search your feelings. But I don't know if they meant feelings as in like emotions, but feelings as in like presence of mind or awareness. Oh, but the only way, because Darth Vader did shut off his feelings and that's mm -hmm. how he got there. Or he and was so, just ruled by anger. Yes. And he tried to look at a way at his son being electrocuted and being like almost killed by the emperor. But what got him was love and feeling saying, no, absolutely not. The anger is what got him to throw the emperor off the fucking bridge and save everyone, save like civilizations and stuff. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand. It's not, I don't think it's appropriate to just say, turn off all your feelings. I don't, I don't know. Like, I just hope that there's an in-between. They didn't explain why Luke's lightsaber was green. Will I learn? Yeah. Okay. Cause he constructed a new lightsaber and it was naturally like his dad's when his dad constructed a lightsaber. It said like the, the look of it. I don't think his was green, but I'm like, why is it green? Why did like it change else. to green? But he made his own. So I'm, I mean, eager you'll, to you'll learn. learn yeah. And I guess Counter. maybe Anakin didn't have a dad like that to save him. And I know Luke and Anakin are different. They're very different, but also there are very important similarities and differences because Luke doesn't have like a loved one. You know, he didn't have the mother of his children, which Anakin did. And so I feel like the emperor maybe had more to get him with. But I'm like very eager for the prequels. And I think this shows that because some people were suggesting me I watch the prequels before that one. But I think it shows like I you can gather enough about Darth Vader yeah. to for this to be very effective. And that's why these movies were and are like cultural impactful things that they are. Yeah, I have to say I really didn't like the first 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes of like Jabba the Hutt and yeah. the slate, like it just was, it felt weird. It just, and that's why I feel like this one will be third on like what I would watch first. I'd probably watch Empire Strikes Back. I love that one. The New Hope is really good. And this one, you know, the ending is so great, but the first quarter of it is Jabba the Hutt being disgusting. Yeah. And like slave Leia. And then it was like musical numbers were interspersed. <laughs> and it was like so unserious, but also really weird and like horrifying. <laughs> I did like that she choked him, but yeah, that was the only thing. I'm like, what is going on here? And then there was a good blend of like happiness and funniness, but also some serious elements with the native 
embrace on that the moon of Endor. Yeah. Um, like there was a good blend of okay, this is funny, but also this is pretty serious like, and moving. I don't really know what he was trying to do with that. It was not my favorite part of it. It was a little silly. I probably don't have much to say <laughs> because <laughs> that was just very emotional for me. And I am so excited to learn that the prequels are about him. And I I want to learn more about Obi-Wan and, and Yoda and stuff because they, I just think that they're more complicated. Mm -hmm. And I could just be disappointed in them. You and know? there's a lot, there's a lot to learn. And you also like now you can, if you want to like explore the expanded universe of books. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, um, really? Yeah. After this? After this. Oh. Yeah. There were a lot. There was a lot written between Return of the Jedi. Right, because it's over and a decade. Yeah, because it is clear to me it's not good versus bad, and it's not even light versus dark. I think it's I don't even know the Emperor. What he was using was like lightning magic it was like really creepy mm -hmm. but i'm really interested in discovering just all the facets of the force because i think it's a very cool magic system but yeah. i said it earlier but i love that it's a father who can sense if their kid is there and the kid can sense if the father is there because usually especially in western media it's very centered on the mother mother's instinct mother's intuition and then it puts like an unfair pressure on the mom when mm -hmm. You know, a lot of mothers suffer postpartum. Like mm -hmm. some women don't want to be moms and like just call it a woman's intuition. No, this is mainly about a father and a son. And he has that caregiver thing. And I, you know, I use the example of my own father where there was like no capacity to love because there was no expectation. It was like the there mom does everything. Yeah, there's the mom does everything too much <laughs> in <laughs> my case. But like with this, it's it's just a very loving, like I sense him. The force is strong. Like and even Luke, I, I sense you you know, yeah, intuition. So I kinda love that they have this really sensitive connection. And Leia knew it was like didn't have to do with her. You know, she learned she was the twin. She was like, I know, I think I've always known. <laughs> she wasn't even that shocked. Um, and she knew it was something Luke had to do and, and that's like a gift that she has. Yeah. An instinct. Like yes. That's what makes her such a good leader. Yeah, it's kind of sad that we don't get to see her use the force. I but I don't think she even really wants to. I mean, she's great with a gun. I'm like, does the help with yeah, the force? Also, I don't like, know. It, it manifests. You don't in have different to. Levels, different people, yeah. Yeah, I and understand. I don't. And you, you can open yourself up or close yourself off. I I don't. I'm not gonna feel depressed by that because it, she does what she wants to. Yeah. Well, you could probably say thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here. And a special thank you to our tier four patrons, Light Yagami and John G. Robinson. Light, again, thank you for getting Meg into Star Wars. Wow. That was a hell of a recommendation, as you can see. Thank you to the rest of our patrons and our channel members for all your support. It means more than we can say. I serious, more, 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 more than we can say and take care of each other drink please water. drink water do things that make you happy and get some good sleep and stuff and uh we'll see you next time thank you Love bye, you, bye.